there anything better than wine and cheese? Wine and wine. Wine and well, there you go. That's true. Well, you know what? I'm sure there's a wine and wine day out there somewhere, <laughs> but there's also a National Wine and Cheese Day. Of course there is. And here to show you how to celebrate correctly is lifestyle expert Melissa Centel. Nice to Welcome. see you, Melissa. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, we're glad to have you. Are you kidding me? You brought wine and cheese. You can come every day. That's why I'm invited to every party, the wine and cheese girl. <laughs> we have, uh, we, I think we have a heavy Cabernet, we have a sweet wine, and do we have a light wine? What, what do we have going so, on here? So uh, this guy is going to be the heaviest, most full body. That's our red for this morning. And what kind of cheese goes best with a, with a, a, a lusty red wine? So I like to pair it with something that's more mild, buttery, so today we're going to be pairing it with a Colby cheese. I, Colby. I like I like okay. Colby. And uh, see, is there like a rule of thumb? If you are doing this at home and Jerome just was able to say exactly which wines you have, how do you present it? Is this a good like have three wines set up, lightest so, to darkest? Yeah, lightest to darkest is generally the rule just so that it's more palatable for your mouth. Um, okay. Yeah, so you want to do that. I like to do some more mild buttery cheeses with the bigger bolder ones so that they complement each other and they're not competing at all. What about so with you the go opposite? Yes. Okay. Well, and so with a really sweet wine, uh, what what do you pair with that? So I would do something that's like Limburger. More... Oh, <laughs> oh Limburger. Does anybody eat Limburger cheese? No one should ever do that. I take it all back. Yeah, yeah. Take take that back. But I think that was made in my hometown actually. <laughs> Dying. By accident. Um, Call but... it Limburger. <laughs> But something like a blue cheese, you want to mm. douse in honey, right? So okay. you're trying to do like that really salty, sweet balance. That's salty and sweet find. is good. Yeah. In anything. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know what? We've got some examples here. Let's show you how the correct way to enjoy a wine and cheese day is. I see a lot of glasses in front of me. That's always a good start. Yeah. Let's get to it. It's not a bad finish either. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, we got about two minutes, so let's get pouring. I love so, it. So, light right. first. So, number one, we're going to do a rosé. This is the Flor de Prairie. Hold that right towards the, the camera there. Ta-da! Look at that. The bottle. A rose. What is rosé exactly? Is it white, red and white together, or is it a different <laughs> kind of grape? That's an actual myth, it isn't is, it? It is not red and white it's together. It's a myth. No, that I'm goes asking, around. because that's what dummies like me think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, rosé is made from a different grape. It is, okay. Yes. Yes. But um, could you have it. pour red and white together in an emergency to make rosé? I may or may not have I done that. I don't okay. recommend <laughs> it, but if you're down to two bottles at a party, hey, anything goes. <laughs> yeah. That's what will happen if and you the, come to Natalie Taylor's wine. Guests are demanding rosé. The there's the white and there's the rosé, putting it together. Okay. I love it. All right, so we're pairing this rosé with this mm. nice cheddar. Some, okay, with this one right here? Yes, yeah, so this right. French White cheese. cheddar. Wow, we're getting White crazy. cheddar. Dig in there, Natalie. So All this right. is kind of cool because this is like salty with some hints of mm -hmm. butterscotch. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we only have one minute left, so we got to do oh some God. fast drinking. Two and cheeses eat. in one, three cheeses in one minute. That's 20 seconds per cheese. All right. There we go. Challenge accepted. <laughs> All right. Here's okay. the thing that we have to Not recycle bad. our glasses. Yeah, we do. All right. Well, bottoms mm -hmm. up. Yeah. There we go. Check, I'm cheating. Check, check. Okay. There we go. Now we got about 45 yeah. seconds. What do you have next? Cheap. All right, so next we have a young Gouda. We're going to pair that with this Auto Suave. So this drinks like a Pinot Grigio. Mm. It's an Italian wine, mm. and you can get it locally at Crew Cellars. And we're pairing that again with uh, what? This young Gouda. Gouda, with the Gouda. All right. What is Gouda cheese exactly? <laughs> Gouda is Gouda. Hey, Gouda uh, little is tip, Gouda. Little tip for you. If you're drinking wine outside in the summertime in Florida, frozen grapes is ice cubes. You can't go wrong. Yeah. I support that. That's Thank great you. for My wife day. invented well, that, not me. <laughs> okay, so speaking of supporting, we have got to go ahead and support again that people can try this at home. Mm -hmm. What is one tip in closing that you would like to share for a wine and cheese pairing of your own? Um, I think that there's no wrong way to pair it. Essentially, when you're trying to figure out what to pair, taste the cheese first, swallow it, take a sip of wine, mm -hmm. swallow it, then try them together. If the flavors are harmonious, then you know that you have a good pairing. But by harmonious, Boom. you could al almost Boom. mean opposite, though, right? Well, okay, and we've got a big jive rap. well. So we, we are jiving well. well. We got to go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Cheers to Cheers. you. Yes. Wine and cheese Melissa, day. very good.